Okay, my friends, Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, and this is a quick one. This is relaxed muscle. When they come together, the myosin head fills in the actin filament, and then you have a contracted muscle. Relaxed, contracted. Alright, you just saw it. Relax, contracted. These pull together, and then they sort of like look basically the same. But before they can come together, you have this black and this white side by side, and these blocks, they call them sarcomeres. Okay, I imagine you know where Petra is. It's over in uh, the Middle East, I believe, Jordan. Well, guess what? They chop this out of wet flesh, muscle, exactly. And these are the sarcomeres right here. Those are the blocks, and these are the fibers that engage. This is relaxed, would be compressed. So don't forget, there's your muscle fibers right there. They chopped this all up in when it was wet. And here's what it looks like inside, because it's still muscle. It didn't go anywhere. There's a muscle inside. And it was actually leaking blood up here. And I don't know whether they drilled those holes or they're just natural, but this is where the moisture sort of evaporates out. This is all biology, which is what the earth is, is a corpse and a body. Wherever you see these little hex columns, they have nothing to do with volcanism. They are tendons. All these unexplained balls all around the earth are these. These are tendon balls. They're gigantic around the earth. They're microscopic in us. There were giants in the earth in those days. I'm just going to show you a couple of shots of these. These are these stone balls. They're all over the earth, and they were from the tendons of giant creatures, and that's what they look like inside. Some of them. Some of them have a different look to them. They're everywhere. They're everywhere around the earth. Oh, you can't understand them. Nobody has any idea what they are. They're, they're in the clays and, the, and everywhere, because that, that was flesh at one time. That was flesh. I can't explain it, but I can tell you what. The earth was giants. It was a giant creature. And giants were in the earth in those days. And after that, there was more giants. The ones that came after were little puppy giants. These things here were miles and miles tall. They were not little creatures. They were absolutely gigantic. These you can see hardly with a microscope inside of us. So, and they are everywhere. They're not just one here and one there. They are everywhere. They're everywhere. They're all around the earth, and people just don't, they're everywhere. And let me show you ones right now that is interstitching. You see that? That could be skin. That could be, it's, well, it's interstitching, but it's just below the surface of a layer of skin or membrane is this floppy stuff. Well, guess what? These little black balls hold in these anchors. The anchors hold, hold open these bags of fluid-filled bags. This is what they look like in gigantic creatures. You see that? These are the balls. The balls erode out of the wall and just lay there because they're the tough ones. They don't, they don't turn into mud. The, the red fleshy stuff in the collagens turn into mud. And then you have the top layer of skin or mucosa, whatever it is. That right there, my friends, is giant creatures which is in the earth in those days and now. So I can't explain it other than that was what was written. And I'm finding out that virtually everything that was written has ex certainly has some supportive evidence at this point.